The so-called evidence for psychic phenomena is not robust, but will-o'-the-wisp. The more we look at it, the weaker it becomes. The alleged detection of water through dowsing is not obviously ridiculous. It might work, but does it? The only way to tell is through a rigorous experiment. How does dowsing work? That's the number one question, and nobody can answer you. Well, I reckon that I'm convinced that something is helping me to douse. One of the earlier chaps thinks it's God. How, how do you do it, then? How, what, what's your principle of dowsing? I think the question, and I expect God to respond in a way that I understand. I'll, I'm going to expect the right-hand one to point to the camera and the left-hand one straight forward. One... Yeah, OK. Look, Very look, good. it's following him round. Yeah. And have you done the test yet in the tent? Yes, I did. Yeah, and what, what was the result? I was going to get six or eight, 100%. Yeah, and what happened? One. So what do you make of that, then? He's having his laugh, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he loves a joke. Yes. You don't realise. <laughs> Do I get second guys? Oh, yeah, you can have as many guys. The psychologist Chris French thinks there may be a simpler explanation. He has devoted his career to investigating claims of the paranormal. And now he has set up this test for dowsing, a properly controlled double blind trial. In each of these rows, just one container, chosen at random, holds a bottle of water. All the rest contain sand. Neither the dowsers nor the tester are allowed to know where the water is until the boxes are opened. So there are no unintentional giveaways. Have another go. <laughs> Safeguards like this make the double blind trial one of the crowning achievements of scientific reason. Okay, put it on the end one then. Number six, six again. I'd say so. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> What you'll typically find when you talk to dowsers is they'll give you lots and lots of anecdotal evidence, lots of stories about how they discovered a leak sure. in their, yeah. their neighbour's pipes and, and so on and so forth, but there are always other possible explanations there. Yes. What we're trying to do is set up conditions which would rule out yes. any of those other yes. explanations. But then we get down to the, the very fundamental basic issue, can the dowsers actually do what they think they can do? Yes. Okay. I think it's full. I think it's four. So, shall we see how well you've done? This is, is sand. In that case, in that case, I can't do this. This is the waters in number five. Sand again. <laughs> this time, guess was in number three. And this time, water, you're correct. Well that's water. Sand again, I'm afraid. In that case, I'm hundred percent wrong again. Uh, well, you got one right on yeah, out of six, it's, which it's... is what we'd expect by chance. So far, they're performing pretty much in line with mean chance expectation. Okay. In other words, guesswork. Yeah. So no one has scored more than yeah. two hits out of yeah. six. Three. Three. The people you've been testing, do they understand why they're being put through the double blind procedure? I think once we've explained it to them, then they appreciate why someone who is perhaps sceptical or doubtful about their claims would see that that was necessary. What's interesting is it doesn't actually tend to dent their confidence at all. Which suggests that they're completely sincere. I, mean, that I think they, they are completely sincere. Yes. And that they're typically very, very surprised yes. when we run them through a series of trials and actually say at the end of the day, well, your performance is no better than would expect just on the basis of, of guesswork. And then what typically happens is they'll make up all kinds of reasons, yeah. some might say excuses, as to why they didn't pass that particular test. I feel the whole test is wrong. I'm shocked beyond words that this has happened. But I did say from the outset, couldn't we just sort out some grey blocks and some scaffold boards yeah. so that I can walk above it, which is what I would routinely do and I've yeah. done for 40 years. Yeah. Who knows where or what bottles were in what tubs. That's the whole point, the isn't it? That's the well, whole yeah, point. But if you understand dozing like I do, you'll understand that everything leaves an image. This state of denial is extraordinary. Even when confronted with hard fact, these dowsers prefer not to face up to truth, but retain their delusion.